Welcome to Voice Breakdown episode 14, the second in our Nintendo series. I'm your host, Brendan Hodek, and today I'll be breaking down Luigi's voice. Luigi, let's go! the younger brother of Mario. While he came from humble beginnings, essentially just being Mario turned green, he has truly developed into his own unique self throughout the years, even having a few games of his own. The voice of Luigi that you remember might be different depending on which games you played the most. This is because his voice, much like his appearance, has changed drastically over the years. In some games, his voice sounds almost identical to Mario. We are going to imitate his voice according to the way it sounds in games such as Mario Kart 64, as this is the most distinct version of his voice. Let's break this voice down. Component number one, the vocal cords. One of the things that makes the version of Luigi's voice we are breaking down today different from other renditions of his voice is his pitch. As we know, pitch is created by the lengthening and shortening of the vocal folds. In some versions of his voice, he has a very high pitch. It's a me, Luigi. But so does his brother, Mario. It's a me, Mario. Those sound too similar. It isn't as fun if they sound the same. This is why we are going to do the version of Luigi's voice that is more on the neutral to low pitch side. So let's lower that pitch a bit so that it sounds like Luigi, let's go. Component number two, the larynx. Okay, by now you have viewed a lot of voice breakdown videos. You have watched tons of voice lessons to the world. You have seen every episode of Quick Singing Tips. So you were thinking, I know what he's gonna say for this one. There's some brightness to Luigi's voice, so he must be cranking that larynx up. Not so fast. The larynx moves up, but only very slightly. That is not what is causing the majority of his brightness. For that, we need to use what we call twang. We talked about this briefly in our Gilbert Gottfried episode, but twang is a type of coordination that causes the voice to sound brighter. It is a narrowing of the airy epiglottic sphincter. Be sure to check out Voice Lessons to the World, episode 77, for an excellent episode on twang. Let me demonstrate how it sounds. If you listen, you can hear me going back and forth between no twang and twang. You could hear how one of those sounds had a much brighter quality to it than the other. So yes, raise that larynx, but only so slightly. Get your real brightness from twang and from component number four, which we'll talk about in a moment. Component number three, the tongue. For Luigi's voice, there is very slight movement of the tongue. The back of the tongue drops slightly, and the sides of the back of the tongue curl upward a bit as well. Think of it as if you are making a funnel shape with your mouth and tongue. Oh, Luigi! Oh. Oh. Component number four, the soft palate. You know the drill with the soft palate. If we lower the soft palate, we can allow sound to enter into the nasal cavity. For Luigi, we are definitely sending a large percentage of the sound into the nose. This, in combination with the twang mentioned earlier, is what really is causing the voice to sound as bright as it does. Component number five, articulation. The most important aspect of Luigi's articulation to take note of is that he often does a process known as a penthesis. A penthesis is the process of adding sounds into words that aren't normally there. For Luigi and Mario, they often add vowels where they don't belong. That's why the phrase Let's go becomes let's -a go. Let's -a go. Frequently add vowels such as e eh and a uh in between words and at the ends of words, and you'll be sounding just like Luigi. Also, I mentioned earlier with component number three, shaping the mouth as if it were a funnel. This relates to his articulation as well, especially for vowels. We want to round the lips to help create this shape. Instead of saying o, oh, say o. Oh. Component number six, prosody. 
As we said in our Yoshi video, prosody is not the same for Nintendo characters as it is for our other voices because they typically just have short catchphrases that they say. Still, you can train yourself to learn the melodic and rhythmic changes that exist within those phrases. Here are a few of Luigi's. Listen to these phrases a bunch of times and see if you can copy the melodies and pitches. Yahoo! Here we go! I'm a Luigi number one! Oh no! Mamma mia! Oh yeah! Let's recap. Component number one, the vocal cords. We want to keep the vocal cords at a neutral length to create a relatively neutral pitch. Component number two, the larynx. The larynx should raise just slightly for Luigi's voice to give his voice a hint of brightness. The real brightness will come from us using twang. Component number three, the tongue. The back of the tongue will drop just a bit and the sides of the tongue will curl up ever so slightly. Component number four, the soft palate. We need to lower the soft palate so that lots of sound can enter into the nasal cavity. Component number five, articulation. We want to make sure to have a penthesis in our speech, which means that we will add some vowels in places they don't belong. Component number six, prosody. For our Nintendo characters, they typically just have short catchphrases that they say. Listen to these catchphrases numerous times and see if you can memorize the rhythmic and melodic patterns. Wahoo! Thank you for watching New Yorker Speech or Coaching's Voice Breakdown episode number 14. Be sure to check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. Let's go!